So Apple just dropped iPadOS 16 beta 10 or iPadOS 16.1 beta 3, depending on which iteration you're on. And they did something that left a lot more questions than it did answers. But without further ado, let's talk about iPadOS 16 beta 10 and see exactly what's going on. Let's do it. So let's get right into this video, everybody. Like I always like to start with, let's look at a screenshot that I took of the actual update itself. So you guys can see here that we did update to iPadOS 16 developer beta 10. So depending on where you look in the system itself, it's either gonna call this iPadOS 16 beta 10 or it's gonna be 16.1 beta three. But again, they are the exact same thing, the same build number and the same exact update. It's just, I don't know why Apple's kind of segregating it and breaking it up, but we'll see what happens when they actually finally release it in October. And as you can see, it was about 440 megabytes. So give yourself an entire gigabyte worth of storage in order to get this installed and installed correctly. But I had no issues getting this installed. And this is on my M1 iPad Pro, but then I also have a 2018 11 inch iPad Pro, which I'm currently installing because I do wanna test out one new feature that should be coming to this, which we'll touch on in a second. So now let's look at the build number. So we'll go to settings, go into general, go up, press on the about section. And then when you click on this, then you can see exactly that we're on 16.1 according to the system version. So again, we're on iPadOS 16.1 and we're on 20B5056 lowercase e, and we're getting closer and closer to that RC edition and eventually drop this last letter moniker. So that is what we're dealing with. And do expect this to release probably in the second half of October of this year during the actual event itself, which we should be getting some invites within the next couple of weeks or so. So in terms of what's new, there's actually just one main thing, and it's not even something that's uh, quite new, it's something that they actually changed up. So if I actually zoom out, you can see that Apple removed secondary monitor support from all M1 iPads. And yes, you are hearing that correctly, Apple got rid of the only feature that really mattered on iPadOS, and the only reason why they delayed iPadOS compared to iOS 16 but you can see that they completely got rid of it. So if I go into Twitter, we get the black bars on the right and the left hand side. So we are being letterboxed in. And right now my stage manager is turned off. And if I turn it on, nothing changes. It's still there. So if I go into Safari, it shows me the floating window where I can make it floating right here. I get my app shelf, which I can move over. So the multitasking of stage manager still works. It's just, it doesn't, it doesn't give us full secondary monitor support as you can see right there. So it does move away. If I go into multitasking, but even then, some, sometimes it's broken, but you have your three multitasking windows here, and then you have all the other ones that were in multitasking from before. So if I open up, let's say this again, it'll open up all three. And if I wanna add a fourth one, I just grab this, let it open right here, and then you can see that spike opens up, which is my mail client of choice. But again, stage manager is here. They just got rid of secondary monitor support, which is absolutely absurd. And I really, really, really don't like that. And just to show you guys what happens when you are in stage manager mode and you turn it off. So let's, we are in stage manager. You can see we have a couple windows open at Twitter, Safari, you know, my Slack channels open up, but let's click up here, turn off stage manager. And you can see that it goes into like the split view. It kind of prioritizes the order of which they were in. And if I go into multitasking, you can see that the other two are in split view as well. But if I go into Safari, I actually want to show off this nine to five Mac article by Jose talking about why Apple got rid of it. So here, according to a statement from Apple, it says that changes with the latest iPadOS 16 developer beta, which was just released, now Apple is making Stage Manager work with a number of older devices. So I guess that is a silver lining. So before this update, Stage Manager was only available on M1 devices. So you had the M1 11 inch iPad Pro, the M1 12.9 inch iPad Pro, which is this one, and then also the M1 iPad Air 6 or 5, I believe it is. But now if you have any version of the iPad Pro of the new industrial design, so from 2018 and higher, so A12X and A12Z, then Stage Manager on device will work. Secondary monitor support will not work, but on device Stage Manager will work. So if you want those floating windows and you wanna be able to multitask with more than just one, this feature will work on any iPad Pro from 2018 or newer, but it does not include the A14 iPad Air, which a lot of people are upset about as well. So now if you do have one of the older iPads, which we will test out in a second, you'll be able to see that iPadOS 16 allows for stage manager on the older iPads. And the reason it's on the A12X and Z and not the A14, I believe it's because of the extra GPU cores that are on the A12X and the A12Z versus A14, it's mostly just CPU cores with only a few GPU cores and that's not enough in order to stabilize and be able to run Stage Manager and all of its animations and its floating windows and things of that nature. And lastly, in this article, it does state that Apple says it will bring external display support for Stage Manager on M1 iPads later this year. 
through a software update. So Apple is taking it away, probably making it a little bit better and then bringing it back. But for now, they completely removed it, which saddens me because I was a daily user of this operating system and of that secondary monitor support. And that's really all we had in terms of what's new. So if I go into the release notes here for iOS 16.1 beta 3, which is also iPad OS 16 beta 10, you can see that we have a couple resolved issues, but zero new features. So we have an Apple Pay issue that's been resolved, some known issues with emoji, some resolved issues in terms of HomeKit and the new Matter accessories. But you can also see that there's no mention of Stage Manager being removed. Like if I go into the S, which will kind of be right here, all they talk about is Swift UI, nothing about Stage Manager, which really does, again, you know, sadden me a little bit that they got rid of it. And now what I have in front of me is actually a 2018 11 inch iPad Pro that I've been using for a very long time. And it's been kind of like the throw around iPad around the house. But the two main things that you can see with this iPad are number one, if you go into your display and brightness, you now have the new view and display zoom setting, which allows you to use less space and be able to see more on the actual iPad screen itself, which is something that was only on the M1 iPads. And then secondly, we do have stage manager and to enable it, you go into your control center, you go down here and you add stage manager into your control center then you swipe up turn on stage manager right there it gives you the little prompt of what it is we'll turn it on and now if you want to open up google chrome you can see that it works how it's supposed to so if i grab the files app move it into here that gives me that second window if i want to grab let's say the settings application move it in here i can do that as well so it does let you do multiple windows just like stage manager is supposed to so you can have up to four different windows open and it does work on an older ipad which again is a great silver lining but you once you plug it in it, and it goes into that old mode of just mirroring the display itself so i'm just i'm not a happy camper about it and then the last thing i do want to mention is battery life so if i go to my settings we go down here to battery let it load up and then we can see over the last 10 days we're getting about two hours and 20 minutes of screen on time on a day like monday we got about three hours of screen on time with a little over 80% battery used. Day right here was just five hours. I think this was Monday. We got almost 100% use, but five hours of battery life. Wednesday, five hours of battery life on less than 100% charge. So from zero to 100, I probably get around six to maybe seven hours if I really stretch it. But I'm sure if I use nothing but Safari and Apple Notes and Keynote, I would be using a lot less battery and I could probably get that eight to 10 hours of battery life. So battery life is getting a little bit better. I'm just hoping Apple, you know, fixes this stage manager situation. But let's get out of this view and finish up the video. And that is pretty much gonna do it for this video, everybody. Like you saw, we got some good and then we got some really bad when it comes to feature sets that were taken away from us with this new iPad OS 16 beta iteration. The good news is, I guess if you can call it good news, is that more people and more iPads will be able to use stage manager as a feature on the iPad itself. But the bad news is, especially for somebody like myself that always wanted to use their iPad as their main computer and thought that the only thing that was missing was secondary monitor support, well, we lost that. And I was somebody that was actually using it on a daily basis on my M1 iPad Pro, especially while video editing on a larger display. But Apple did say that they will be bringing it back at some point later this year. We're kind of back to where we were before. There's no new improvements. We still don't even have the new collaboration feature and the freeform feature that Apple touted on WWDC, you know, about, about three, four months ago. So let's see what Apple's gonna do with iPadOS moving forward because I don't know, if they release it in October without stage manager and secondary monitor support, then I don't know what to say in terms of the iPad Pro being a real computer replacement. But that is gonna do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below and leave a comment down below what you guys think. Would you have had Apple ship a stage manager version or a secondary monitor support version of stage manager that wasn't quite ready in October? Or are you glad they like kind of canceled it for now as they work on it in the back end to make sure that it is as stable as it's supposed to be. So leave some comments down below on your thoughts, but again, I'm a little bit disappointed. They should have left it as an option for us beta users because again, I understand this in beta, so I'm okay with it crashing, I'm okay with it reloading, I'm okay with it not being stable. So knowing that it's in beta, Apple should have kept it in there for us users that wanted to keep playing with it. And again, the more that we play with it, the more it can be improved over time and be ready for the entire public release. But now that Apple removed it, who knows what's going to happen next. But that's going to do it, everybody. If you guys want to watch some more iPadOS, iOS, and some more iPhone 14 content coming your way, click on one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here. Peace.